Electrical muscle stimulation, or EMS, has become increasingly popular in recent years, touted as a revolutionary tool for fitness enthusiasts and rehabilitation patients alike. But what exactly is EMS, and how does it work? Simply put, EMS devices use electrical currents to stimulate muscle contractions. These contractions mimic the body's natural movements, offering benefits from increased strength and muscle mass to pain relief and improved circulation. Despite the growing popularity and promising benefits, EMS remains shrouded in misconceptions. Many view it as a quick fix for a toned physique or a substitute for traditional exercise, leading to unrealistic expectations and potential misuse. Understanding the nuances of EMS is crucial for both fitness enthusiasts and individuals seeking rehabilitation. By separating fact from fiction, we can harness the true potential of this technology while prioritizing safety and informed decision-making. EMS devices work by delivering electrical impulses to the muscles through electrodes placed on the skin. These impulses mimic the signals sent by the central nervous system, causing the muscles to contract. The intensity and frequency of these impulses can be adjusted to target specific muscle groups and achieve desired outcomes. When an electrical impulse reaches the muscle fibers, it triggers a series of physiological events leading to muscle contraction. The effectiveness of EMS lies in its ability to activate both slow-twitch and fast-twitch muscle fibers. Slow-twitch fibers are responsible for endurance activities, while fast-twitch fibers are involved in powerful, short-duration movements. By stimulating both types of fibers, EMS can potentially enhance both muscular endurance and strength. However, it is important to note that EMS should not be viewed as a replacement for traditional exercise. EMS offers a range of potential benefits for both strength training and rehabilitation, making it a versatile tool for individuals with diverse fitness goals. In the realm of strength training, EMS can complement traditional workouts by providing an additional stimulus for muscle growth and strength gains. Studies have shown that EMS can be particularly effective in activating deep muscle fibers that are often difficult to engage through conventional exercise alone. Moreover, EMS can be a valuable tool for rehabilitation, aiding in the recovery of injured muscles and improving mobility. By stimulating muscle contractions, EMS can help to increase blood flow to the affected area, reduce muscle atrophy, and improve range of motion. For individuals recovering from surgery or injuries that limit their ability to engage in traditional exercise, EMS can provide a gentle yet effective way to maintain muscle function and promote healing. EMS can be a valuable tool in various settings, from enhancing athletic performance to aiding in medical rehabilitation. Athletes and fitness enthusiasts can incorporate EMS into their training regimens to supplement traditional workouts, target specific muscle groups, and potentially accelerate recovery. For instance, EMS can be used to enhance explosive power in athletes involved in sports requiring quick bursts of energy, such as sprinting or jumping. In rehabilitation settings, EMS has proven effective in restoring muscle function after injuries or surgery. It can help to prevent muscle atrophy, improve range of motion, and reduce pain and swelling. EMS can also be used to treat urinary incontinence and other pelvic floor dysfunctions by strengthening the pelvic floor muscles. Furthermore, EMS can be a valuable tool for individuals with mobility limitations, providing a way to engage muscles that may be difficult to activate through traditional exercise. Despite its proven benefits, EMS is often surrounded by misconceptions and unrealistic claims. One common myth is that EMS can provide effortless weight loss or spot reduce fat in specific areas. While EMS can stimulate muscle contractions, it does not directly target fat cells or lead to significant calorie expenditure. Another misconception is that EMS can replace traditional exercise altogether. While EMS can be a valuable supplement to workouts, it cannot replicate the full range of benefits associated with active movement, such as improved cardiovascular health, bone density, and overall fitness. Some marketers promote EMS devices as a quick fix for a toned physique without any effort. However, building a lean and muscular body requires a comprehensive approach that includes regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate rest. It is crucial to approach EMS with realistic expectations and to consult with qualified healthcare professionals before incorporating it into your fitness or rehabilitation regimen. The market offers a wide array of EMS devices, each with its own set of features, intended uses, and price points. Understanding the different types of EMS devices available is crucial for selecting the most appropriate option based on individual needs and goals. 
Broadly, EMS devices can be categorized into two main types, consumer grade and professional grade. Consumer grade devices are readily available online and in retail stores, often marketed for home use and targeting fitness enthusiasts. These devices typically offer basic functionalities and adjustable intensity levels, allowing users to customize their sessions. Professional grade EMS devices, on the other hand, are typically found in clinical settings and rehabilitation centers. These devices offer more sophisticated features, such as multiple channels for stimulating different muscle groups simultaneously, a wider range of intensity levels, and customizable programs tailored to specific therapeutic goals. Within these two broad categories, EMS devices come in various forms, including handheld units, wireless pads, and full-body suits. While EMS is generally safe for most individuals when used responsibly, it is essential to prioritize safety and follow recommended guidelines to minimize potential risks. Before using an EMS device, it is crucial to consult with a qualified healthcare professional to determine its suitability for your individual needs and medical history. Individuals with certain medical conditions, such as pacemakers, epilepsy, or pregnancy, should avoid using EMS devices. It is also important to avoid placing electrodes on areas of the body with broken skin, recent scars, or reduced sensation. When using an EMS device, start with a low intensity level and gradually increase it as tolerated. It is normal to feel a tingling or prickling sensation, but stop using the device immediately if you experience any pain, discomfort, or unusual skin reactions. After each session, inspect the skin under the electrodes for any signs of irritation or redness. By adhering to these safety guidelines, you can enjoy the potential benefits of EMS while minimizing potential risks. The field of EMS technology is constantly evolving, with ongoing research and development paving the way for new applications and enhanced effectiveness. As our understanding of the human body and the intricacies of muscle stimulation deepens, we can expect to see even more innovative EMS devices and treatment protocols emerge in the future. One promising area of development is the integration of EMS with virtual reality and gamification. By creating immersive and engaging experiences, these technologies have the potential to enhance user motivation and adherence to EMS training programs. Another exciting frontier is the exploration of EMS for cognitive enhancement and the treatment of neurological disorders. While still in its early stages, research suggests that EMS could potentially stimulate areas of the brain responsible for memory, attention, and motor control. Advancements in electrode design and materials are leading to more comfortable and efficient EMS devices. Wireless technology and miniaturization are also making EMS devices more portable and convenient for everyday use. Electrical muscle stimulation EMS, is a powerful tool with the potential to enhance strength training, aid in rehabilitation, and improve overall well-being. By understanding the science behind EMS, its proven benefits, and potential risks, individuals can make informed decisions about incorporating this technology into their fitness or rehabilitation regimens. While EMS can be a valuable supplement to traditional exercise and a promising tool for rehabilitation, it is essential to approach it with realistic expectations and to consult with qualified healthcare professionals. Using EMS responsibly and following safety guidelines are paramount for maximizing its benefits while minimizing potential risks. As EMS technology continues to evolve, we can anticipate even more innovative applications and enhanced effectiveness. By embracing the power of EMS safely and effectively, we can unlock its full potential to improve human health, performance, and quality of life.